Okay, this is a very short discussion about the concept behind loose stencils. Now, loose stenciling is a vast improvement on traditional masking techniques of using, say, frisket, an adhesive film. When I say improvement, it's just a whole lot faster, a lot quicker and easier to use these if you can. Obviously, when it comes to doing very complex designs, then loose stencils are just not going to uh, be very helpful. Although, in combination, they can be even more effective if you use frisket for the outside edge and then do all your internal shapes with loose stencils, it can be the best of both worlds. But anyway, this conversation is more about the types of shapes and it's basically a conversation about the, the usefulness of a stencil based on the Fibonacci mathematical calculation and we call these the Fibonacci spirals. Most stencils worldwide are just random curves like this and right throughout both the US and Europe and Australia people have just been using these sorts of things here. This is one I've had for years but it's always frustrated me that to go find, to find a specific curve that I might want, I have to keep moving around and just trying to find something that's going to deliver what I want. And that's just no good at all. And that kind of randomness always frustrates me. I've always found it much more effective if we had something that was based on the mathematical calculation where I'm able to literally dial up the exact curve and I just keep turning it until it's exactly what I want. If I want it sharper, then I turn it this way and the curve gets sharper. If I want it straighter, I turn it the other way and it gets straighter. And the same goes for the inside. If I want it sharper, I just turn it and the curve gets sharper and sharper for just this area here. Or it gets straighter and straighter. And so the Fibonacci spiral enables you to literally dial up the exact curve that you want. I'm going to demonstrate it. I should turn the compressor on. Now that's too sharp, so I just turn it and turn it and turn it until I get what I want. Now this isn't even opening up enough for me, and so I'm going to use this part here, and then I'm going to use, I'll turn it over, I just need to dry it before I turn it over, actually while I'm waiting for that to dry, Then for the actual eye itself, I can just keep turning it until I get what I want. Now, there's obviously clear limitations when it comes to a stencil this large in terms of being able to do tighter curves. And uh, so this is why, as you can see here, there's four different sizes. One of the best things about the flexible nature of these stencils is the ability to create what we call curled stenciling, where you're able to curl it up and create a sharp edge that then fades out to a soft edge. So there's, see how I'm curling it up? It means that I'm able to create a sharp edge there and a soft edge down there. And by having my fingers on the back of it, I can create lifted stenciling as well. So the combination 
of having a mathematical spiral that means that I can just dial up the exact curve that I want and the flexible nature of it means that I can create curled stenciling as well. try and hold this at a very long angle so that it goes from sharp to incredibly soft. Here I'm just using as a guard to just sort of stop overspray going where I don't want it to. Here I'm going to create a double edge to create the illusion that it's softer. That to me felt a bit too sharp, so I'm going to create what we call step stenciling. And there we have it. The use of a mathematical spiral stencil that can literally be just twisted to dial up the exact curve. We've got the four round shapes and we have the four elliptical shapes. These are very, very useful when you do want the wider arcs, but also, more importantly, these are great for doing automotive illustration, illustration of motorcycles, cars, boats, all that kind of stuff, where there's manufactured long elliptical shapes where round objects have been turned at 45 degrees. And so, very, very useful. And you've got as I said before, you've got the four sizes, so you've got the little tiny baby, you've got the A5, the A4, and then the A3. And the same with these, you've got the little tiny A6, A5, A4, and A3.